All right, I'm back reacting to the hype for Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. This is probably even weirder than Mayweather. You know, when May Mayweather fought Logan, it's actually weirder. I am fighting not only one of my idols, but one of the greatest strikers in combat sports history. That's fact. That's, that's not even hype. and Like, that is just actually real. Absolutely insane. Mine. Mate, you, you are insane. You are insane. Spider exterminator. <laughs> This is very uh, Eminem back in the day. This would be a good skit if he wasn't actually fighting Anderson Silva. Jake Paul would break the hearts of every MMA fan on earth if he ends up beating Anderson Silva. I mean, genuinely, that is so fucking true. Like, Anderson Silva is a god in the MMA world. And in the MMA world, Jake Paul is subhuman scum. For him to have that over the MMA community and just rub it in their faces, it'll be very fun for him if he does it. Call him the legend killer, go, you know, start marketing yourself as like that guy. Fuck it. Chill, son him. My guy. Well, well, well. Here we are. Look at this. Mate, at he, conference for the fight he was made to be a fight promoter. Chael Sonnen, he, he, like, he should he should be the guy who Dana hands the fucking mic over to at one point. With Dana ever wants to, like, chill. Chael is amazing at this. Please welcome first to the stage the favorite, Anderson the Spider Silva. Oh, my God. The history here. Chael Sonnen introduced Anderson Silva on stage. This was one of the greatest rivalries in the history of MMA. If it wasn't for Chael Sonnen, Anderson Silva's legacy wouldn't be what it is because Chael Sonnen was a motherfucker back in the day. No one wanted to touch him. He put people on their back and beat the shit out of them. I always look at Chael as a champion anyway because he was, I think, WEC champion. He beat their champion, but he got stripped of the belt because the guy didn't make weight. The fucking idiot. Look, at Anderson, man. <laughs> oh, God. He looks in the prime of his life, man. He looks great. I must have been watching this guy fucking 20 years now, and he, he, 15 at least, and he does not age. You want to tell him the agreed upon weight class, and we're going to meet under the Queensberry rules. It's a whole other thing. He's so good at talking. People don't understand. When you stand up on that stage, you got everyone around the fucking world looking at him. I mean, I know he maybe have rehearsed that, but who gives a shit? It's amazing. It seems throughout your career, and I followed it very closely, it seems as though <laughs> you follow a martial arts... I followed your career very closely. You fucking followed him into the cage. I was sitting on a couch watching this guy as a kid, and here we are. Mate, mate, it's fucking wild, this man. This is absolutely wild. I know what he's on about. I was that kid watching Anderson Silva on the couch. The idea of fighting this man when you've been watching him kill people in the UFC, it must just be weird. One day you're going to get in that ring and he's going to be there staring back at you and it's like, there he is. Anderson, you crazy. Why you do that? And I say, you know... That's a good challenge for me. I'm just sort of marinating this soul experience now. And I'm thinking like, if Jake does go and knock Anderson Silva out, like it, it's sort of dawning on me that that even could be a thing. That could happen. I don't get me wrong. I think Anderson Silva should be the favorite. If, you know, if Jake can't get on the inside and he really didn't look confident in his distance management of Tyron Woodley. And if you're struggling to manage the distance against Tyron Woodley, Jake is still at that level with those issues. Then Anderson Silva will play with him. He will embarrass him so you know his coaches need to be on it big time you aren't gonna land that big shot if you don't know where he is you know what i mean in, in the tyron woodley situation there was times where it just looked sloppy and a bit cumbersome you know getting ready for anderson obviously he's a southpaw my first time going up against a southpaw that's another worry that is another worry this is why jake's clear in, in influencer boxing right now because he's fighting a guy like anderson silver one more thing I love challenge, you know. I really believe that about Anderson Silva. He is such a true martial artist. Like, competing and getting in the ring with a load of people caring about one of his fights, which, you know, people haven't cared the way they used to for a few years now. It, it'll it make them feel fucking 20 years younger. Okay, so they're recreating the photograph. When the, I love when it. The Pauls were wrestlers out in Ohio. I think they had that photo taken, God, 13 years ago, 14 years ago, and now here they are about to fight. All right, the height difference ain't too much physically similarly uh, in terms of size. Jake's just got that youthful power about him. Anderson was always going to hurt you from his accuracy, his timing, his speed. I feel like 
Anderson will see things coming a mile away unless Jake can disguise it better. Jake fully believes I'm going to beat this guy. So that was my take on the uh, press conference. Loved that. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Well done, Chael Sonnen as well. And uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of it, what you're thinking of the fight. Early predictions. I want to read some of them. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.